All right, trying to figure this out. I don't know what to do or how to move this. Shit. <clears throat> it does... Okay, wait a minute. There's something over there, too. Lee's Dibo says... Oh, shit. Lee's Dibo says for him, the game doesn't look too engaging. He doesn't like the fact that the game is three bucks. And some people won't like that, you know? That's some people will be like, I wanted a complete game, you know? Nothing to <clears throat> it. And I understand that. Okay. Good. Okay, this is why I did it. What is this? <laughs> Hopefully this is something good. Okay. A ladder here. Oh, you know what? This is how you get it open, isn't it? Or not? Yeah. What do I do? Oh, come on. Oh, there's a button here. No, I was gonna leave her. I didn't care. <laughs> I didn't give a shit. <clears throat> nice work. Way to think ahead. I was totally gonna leave her. Guess we're home free. No need for thanks. Nuh. I'd rather get paid. Hmm? You're getting paid right now. Hmm? Huh? Oh. Oh, well, looks like this may be a side area that maybe I can't do yet. Probably. Yup, another locked door. Gotta come by back later for it. Yep. <clears throat> like I said, probably side content areas for later. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Should be able to relax a little now. Don't forget about the Turks. Ah. They could come at us any time. Keep an eye out. All right, they want us to go that way, so. Uh, that's the station. Here, but... Somewhere else you'd rather be? Come on! They won't. <laughs> they won't let me freaking go the way I want to go. Ugh. My honest truth says. Excuse me. He didn't say that. Bionetry says, am I putting on the gunner glasses at $200 of tips? If you guys want me to, yes. It's up to you. <clears throat> totally up to you guys. So, do you think this means another war's coming? Oh, hey there, Aerith. The Sector 5 stones are right there. Got him so What are they watching? Uh, hey! Shit, that bridge! It's priceless! Tell them here! My lights have been on the bridge ever since then. Just go in a big old chip in a fabric softener! <clears throat> okay, well, we're in a town now. This oh my god, they seriously won't just let you walk a step in another direction. That is pretty frustrating. That is pretty, you know. I just got to a new town. I want to check it out. Nope. Mm -hmm. Gotta follow the linear path. That sucks. Oh my god, shut up! I can't hear! He's talking over it. Excuse me, ma'am, but would you mind answering a few questions? They're targeting reactors. Can you give us any updates on the status of the reactor? What kind of damage did it suffer in the explosion? I can't. Any danger? I can't hear because they're fucking the stupid atmospheric dialogues talking over the the story, so I can't hear it. Oh my god, it's so annoying. <clears throat> Marco Reactor Five has been temporarily shut down, and all fires have been successfully. Alright, they finally shut the fuck up. About the time. situation is under control, and the people of our fair city need not worry about any additional complications. We're in the process of conducting a full forensic investigation, but we suspect the device used was similar to that employed in the attack on Mako Reactor 1. 
The perpetrators of that atrocity were filmed making their escape. These agents of the eco-terrorist group Avalanche are currently believed to be in hiding somewhere in Midgar. And uh, given that this group has now attacked two reactors in quick succession, can they really be stopped before they strike again? What do you think? Uh, well, uh... <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean to click that. Have no fear. There we go. Shinra will keep Midgar safe. She beat up the cameraman. <laughs> okay, time stop. <laughs> All right, let's go. So a few shout outs. Rob had given me a dollar and asked me to move the camera, so I just did. Thank you, Rob. Um. Yeah, Timbo and Willow, we're about to go now with XFL and WWE. Thank you for the cheer. Um, let's see here. Lee's Dybo. No, I already read that. Umbrella Core Marketing to the Dollar Tree says, do you think you have a, a female fan base? I'm sure there are, you know, women who watch me. Um, but there's no way to tell, nor does it matter. What does it matter what gender someone is? It doesn't. It's a completely moot point, so. <clears throat> okay. I guess we gotta follow her. They're not gonna let me go. Watch. Nope. I gotta follow her. They're not gonna let me do what I want. <clears throat> How annoying. Oh, what timing. Mind lending me a hand? Place is really hopping, huh? Nice side effect of the train situation. So, what do you say? I'd love to, but. I help okay. out every now and then. It's fun. Eris! Well, well. What are you doing all the way up there? Was trying to get a look at the reactor. Who's this guy? <laughs> this is Cloud. He's a mercenary. And currently my bodyguard. That's Oats. See you. Two peas in a pod. Still not gonna let me go that way. Nope. <laughs> this is a town that she comes from. A different slums town. <clears throat> Aaron! So, what are you guys up to? We all went to see the reactor. Oh, that's right. You're supposed to come by the house. Uh, what for? I don't know. You're just supposed to. Well, guess we have a new destination. I should probably explain. The Leaf House is the local orphanage. That's where all these kids live. Hey, Eric, where'd you go? The church again? Next time, we should all go together. Why, hello, Eric. As popular as ever, I see. Apparently, but they sure keep me on my toes. <laughs> uh, better than being bedridden. Thanks again for all those herbs. You've helped a lot of people. No problem. Anytime. How'd you manage to find so many anyway? <laughs> oh, I have my ways. And him? He's my bodyguard. Just until I get home. And you're sure he's up to it? Hmm. Maybe. Since I'm so generous, I gather medicinal herbs for his patients sometimes. Here's the leaf house. There's a moogle on the wall there. Look. <clears throat> That's also one thing I was disappointed about in this game, um, is that there's, like, no Moogles. Moogles were ginormously important in Final Fantasy VI, and in this game, they don't really matter at all. They're just kind of part of the lore, but they're not characters or nothing, which is disappointing. There you are. <clears throat> we're back, and we brought Aerith with us. Sorry to make you come out here. Don't be. It's on my way home. Well, then, I hope you won't mind me asking for some flowers. No problem. How many? All you can carry. What with all the doom and gloom we've been hearing on the news recently, I thought some flowers might help cheer everyone up. I'm sure they will, and I'd love to help. Let's all wash up before our meal. Okay, see? Once again, I'm walking slow, that means I can't explore. <laughs> so, are you a friend of Aerith's? Okay. Oh, uh, let's see here. Missouri Lover did a hundred bit cheer and says, I agree, I was looking forward to a huge open world with the game, but it's so linear. Not necessarily a bad thing, but sometimes I sort of dislike that. One reason I'm not, I'm pumped for Trials of Mana next week. 
The original Final Fantasy VII was incredibly linear, with a few parts where if you backtrack, you get items until you leave Midgar. Once you leave Midgar, then it's the big open world part of the game. And that's why it's kind of weird the way that they split this up, that Midgar is his own game. Because if they follow along this vein in the next game, they're going to be dramatically changing the formula, because this was the open world after you leave Midgar. So I don't know what's going to happen, honestly. I guess we'll have to see. <clears throat> um... Kanye Glover in the cut, thanks for a dollar tip, but you're being ridiculous, and I'm not going to derail the stream with that. Dark Lotus 1998 that tipped me $10. Thank you very much, Dark Lotus. He says, one of my favorite things to do is sit down, grab food, and watch your streams. Uh, I love the vest. Keep the vest streak going forever. Well, If it does, it does. That would certainly be amazing. I don't know how long it'll last, but I am, again, super appreciative of everyone's support right now. So thank you very much, everyone, for that. Really, I appreciate it. Okay. Can I go inside? I can. But I still walk like a snail. <laughs> Look at that, there's a chest in here. There's a cactuar, a tonberry, a chocobo, and a moogle on the on the uh, board here in front of me, see? I got a bottle of ether for coming in here. <clears throat> I'm kind of annoyed that you're walking so slow, and you can't really explore where you want. I'm sure later they let you. <clears throat> but, again, when you get to a new town in a Final Fantasy game, the first thing you want to do is explore, and they're not letting you. That's kind of annoying. Shrump, to me, a dollar, says, Do you think snakes get mad they have no arms or legs? I have no idea. You'd have to ask a snake. Okay, thanks for the dollar tip. <laughs> what the hell you're talking about? All right. I am Razor thinks they're going to completely skip the open world. And change up the whole formula of the game, man. Huh. <clears throat> so, Cloud, what's your favorite flower? They're all the same to me. Huh. You sure you want to say that to a florist? Better than <clears throat> mine. Okay. Then what'd you do with the flower I gave you? I, uh... I ate it. You give it away? I did. Ooh, to who? Tell me. Don't recall. No, uh, I don't recall. What? I thought you didn't like lying. <sighs> oh my well, god. Well, anyway. <laughs> oh, my neck. My house is just up this path. Mom should be home by now, so I'll introduce you. Yep. We're on the right way. <clears throat> Look at this. Go. That's my house. What the That's hell? Amazing. Uh yeah, I'll say it's slightly different from the rest of the slums. <laughs> Just slightly. Now, can I go this way? No oh my I just have to be patient, I guess. Rob took me two dollars and Google writes Kupo. <laughs> Thank you, Rob. Come on. I'm home. Hey, baby. <clears throat> Been up to no good? Rude came by. Mm. So, this is my mom, Elmira. And this is Cloud, my bodyguard. Yeah. Uh, hi. <laughs> Take good care of her? That's my job. Or was my job. Yep. Thanks. So, Cloud, you gonna head back to Sector 7? Yeah. Then I'll show you the way. <laughs> then why'd you have me bring you here? What if the Turks show up again? It'd suck, but I've dealt with them before. Honestly, I'm much more worried about you. What if you get lost, huh? You'd be too embarrassed to admit it, and so you just keep on going. Quit acting like you know me. Hey, Mom. I'm gonna go take Cloud over to Sector 7, okay? <sighs> okay. But why not wait until tomorrow? If you head out now, it'll be dark when you get back. Better to rest up here and make the trip first thing in the morning. When you'll have daylight to spare. That's true. She's got a point, Cloud. Hold up. Oh, yeah. I still need to deliver some flowers to the leaf house. 
since we have a little time before dinner, you should come with. That wasn't the deal. You mean you want more? Even though you've got a priceless reward coming your way, do you know what I promised him? I'll do it. <laughs> oh my god. I'll go grab the basket. Anything for a reward. Right Why would you trust a flower girl to give you a priceless reward, by the way? It could be a fucking flower bulb. <laughs> <laughs> that Aaron. She's a handful, isn't she? Leaf house delivery. Hold on, I gotta raid your fridge. I'm starving. They have a pumpkin just sitting on the counter. <laughs> Let's see here. Oh, man. It certainly didn't bother rendering the kitchen. Oh, my God. Look at that low res shit. Oh, my. Give the fruit up. He did not bother. <clears throat> Alright, what am I supposed to do? I wasn't paying any attention. Uh. Giraffe Conservationalist, give me a dollar, says, Is the game going to make sleeveless turtlenecks cool? <laughs> I know. Cloud wearing a sleeveless turtleneck. How amazing. It must be tough. No, never mind. Huh? Hmm. Wow, she's got so much to say. Uh, can, a tr can the mobs please take care of this troll who's been spamming spoilers in the stream chat? <laughs> How are we not seeing this? <laughs> I guess I gotta do it myself. Ugh, frustrating. That's weird. I don't want to put them here. Tons of flowers, but nothing else. What the hell did you come up here for? Nice view, I guess. Let me guess, I can't even go this way. She's gonna yell at me and say, what are you doing going that way? <laughs> I don't think I can, but I don't know if there's anything over here. No! You... <laughs> Why do I keep trying? Why? Why do I keep trying? I'm just gonna have to follow the super linear part of the story until they... they Make me aware that I can go off and do something else at this point. Because this is ridiculous. This is seriously ridiculous. Hmm. Which ones do you think we should pick? Any of them. Oh, don't be like that. Uh. I know you have an eye for this kind of thing. Choose flowers to deliver to the leaf house. Press triangle when you are close to the garden to pick flowers. The decorations at the leaf house change depending on the colors you select. <clears throat> So they get yellow. I don't want yellow. But they won't. Oh my god. White. Yellow. Here, grab these. Whoa. Foxtails, huh? I gotta hand it to you. I uh -huh. never would have thought of that. 
Box tails. Definitely take them by surprise. I think we still need a few more. Which should we pick next? All foxtails. I demand all foxtails. Nothing else. She said, as many as you can carry, so maybe a few more? Uh, more foxtails. <laughs> wow. Good lord. I think we're good now. What do you say? Shall we go? Great. Where were we going? Oh wait, my map disappeared. Uh We're going to the town to sell these flowers, I guess. Yeah. Protusum Zone says, do you feel there's tons of padded content? Like, I mean, I'll be honest right now, I'm pretty bored. It was fun exploring the new area and everything and getting a new character, but it was over, like, way too early. And now we're stuck in this really boring linear part of the game. I just want to explore the town, explore this house, do side missions. I don't want to be gathering flowers, but we're not under the gun or anything. I guess we're stuck. I'm not cut out for this crap. <clears throat> sure you are. And when you're done, you'll be drowning in job offers. So, how do you think they'll arrange these flowers? Don't know. Well, we'll soon find out. Certainly looks like a little combat area right there, probably for a side mission. Flower collection. How exciting. Ugh. Ugh. It also doesn't help that it's about 85 degrees in my office right now. It really doesn't. I love to study. I'll wait out here. Oh, okay. But I might be a while. Why not check out the town? Yes, please. Yes, please. Let me do something interesting. Thank God. Now I can do what I want. All right, I'm going to go back and explore those areas I couldn't go to. I'm going to go to the town and explore. Thank fucking God, dude. Ugh. So, not surprising, you cannot go in there. <clears throat> All right. I'm definitely putting in the air conditioner stuff as soon as possible. I have to. It's too hot during the daytime here, man. Aha! Do you see why I wanted to come up here? MP up materia. I think I already have one, but that would be good for her, I'm sure. Fab Dabby Dozy. Give me $3 said Florist Fantasy 7. Yes. It's definitely what I, I, I was expecting. You know... I know there is flower gathering in Final Fantasy VII as well, by the way, the original. But, man, that's frustrating showing up here and not being able to explore right off the bat. Bunch of pumpkins. Nothing else here, huh? Just a pumpkin patch? Yeah, it looks like it. Okay. shop. Chad Chadley is here. Holy crap. Chadley is actually in town now. So I could probably trade in a bunch of stuff from uh, the assessing that I've been doing. Oh. Midgar wouldn't be Midgar without the plate of a new the song. Hours. Tango of Tears. Ah, the crystal theme, but it sounds like a tango. Okay. <clears throat> 
Here's a chest. This is why I wanted to explore. A vial of Celerus. What the hell is that? That's new. A vial of Celerus. Let's see. Hastens whoever drinks it. Okay. So cast auto haste, I guess. Or well, not auto haste, but cast the haste spell. Echo mist. That stops being silent. I remember that. There's the goal. I guess we'll keep looping around here. Let's see what's over here. Out of the way, kid. Did you know? Out of the way, you little runt. Got stuff to do. I'm waiting forever to investigate this town. Aha. Uh -huh. Out of the way, another kid in the way. Two hundred gil. Certainly doesn't seem like many. I remember you. Oots. Where's Aerith? The Leaf House. Well, there he goes. I wonder if that'll be a side mission. Probably. Huh? Okay. How about it? You hungry? Furthermore, initial reports they confirm the that they're reacting to coordinating their efforts. Looking for a new weapon? Weapons, What'll it be for weapons you vendor. Me? Cool. Oh, it's all the stuff I already got. Seriously, nothing new. And that's all he has. He doesn't actually sell weapons. Well, that's disappointing. I thought there'd be some new equipment there. Nope. See you soon. All the same stuff. <clears throat> nothing here. Here's a bunch, of, a bunch of broken speakers just sitting there. Great. Okay. So, is that where we came from? Yes. No. To the right is not where we came from. So I'm going to see what's down here. They're probably going to block it off, though. You probably can't go all the way. Nothing there. Uh, can't leave without telling her. Nope. Da. Ah. <clears throat> well, people were kidding when they said that they extended this portion of the game. This is way more drawn out than the original. Probably the same items, but let's check just to be sure. I don't have all day. I was waiting for the menu to open. She yelled at me. <laughs> nah, that's fine. Everything there's fine. <laughs> yes, Mark McCauley, I am wearing the vest yet again. Thank you guys for your support today. <clears throat> well, look, that's Chadley right here. What if we talk to him? Cloud, I understand you must. Oh, be new busy, music. But I hope you haven't forgotten about my research. We did one done, Stagger Effect Part 2. ATV boost. Doubles ATV when activated, cannot be used continuously. Might as well buy it so we have one of everything, right? Alright, I got it. Cloud, I have come up with the most fascinating theory. Perhaps you can lend me your assistance in gathering data to test it? Uh, another, another side quest? Cloud, I have the most amazing news. Okay. I believe I might know how to develop summoning materia. Something heretofore thought impossible. Scientists say that this materia can only be found in nature, but I may just be able to prove otherwise. And so, Cloud, I turn to you. I would like to test this theory by way of my combat simulator. To wit, I want you to fight and defeat summon data in VR. I sense that you find my phrasing to be somewhat obtuse. <laughs> Charlie developed a new combat simulator, VR Missions. As you gather more and more battle intel, special missions allowing you to battle summons become available. Talk to Charlie if you want to give them a go. Oh, really? Please let me know when you have made your preparations. Well, it actually says that more stuff finished. Hold on. I have to tell you that I'm grateful for all of your help thus far. Yeah, look, Monster Bio Part 2 auto finished. I didn't even. Oh, and Magic Elements Part 2. Just from regular combat, I already done. And the manipulation technique. I've done it. I've uh -oh. developed a new materia. Let's see what he's got. He's got steel. Provoke. Provoke attack. Draw the enemy's ire and steadfast block. All right, good stuff. The VR missions. I'm assuming you fight the summons. Yeah, defeat Shiva. 
I don't know if I'll be able to. I could try. I'm probably gonna get my ass beat. Watch. I invite you to ready I'll try though. Battle simulator. <clears throat> you should have handed you a PSVR. That would have been pretty funny. Hand you a PSVR. Okay. Oh, I don't have fire equipped. Call him lightning. Oh shit. Damn, she's fast. Too bad. Oh, I skipped it. Are you serious? Fire, which I don't have. Yeah. No tactical data available. Damn, there's like no stagger at all. Doesn't seem to be worth it. I tried to roll and I hit a bunch of ice. Cream. No, dude, nothing staggers her. I need the fire, I don't have it. Still in it. Yeah. Once you stagger her, she'll take tons of damage, but it's gonna take forever. My limit break also is barely filling it up. Probably a fight you gotta do later. I can't move. There was absolutely nothing I could do. I was frozen. Come on. I'm willing her down, but I'm definitely gonna end up running out of like MP. Dagger's getting up there. Here it comes. Almost staggered. It would be really nice if I could get my limit break during the stagger, but I'm probably not going to get it. You're done. Brace yourself. Big damage there. Just do as much as I can here. Come on. Oh, 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 come on. Roughly a third of her life is gone now. Oh god, what's she doing? Frost familiars. Ow, she's summoning minions basically. Yeah. Oh my god, she froze me. No more fun Yeah, there's no way to beat this solo. I need fire. I need fire spells. Right. If I do the limit break during a stagger, that'd be perfect, but it's gonna need forever to get a stagger now. Oh, these frost familiars are kidding me too. Oh my god. Oh my god. I won't give up. Can't get the stagger up. Well, I can get to summon the charge, it's e free, but the summon, I don't know if you can even summon in this fight, I have no idea. 
Maybe not. Maybe you can't do a summon during the fight. I can't dodge at all. I'm fucked. Ow. Still in it. The boss music is excellent. I'm saving the limit break for when she staggered, but it could take forever. Try this. Barely raising the stagger. Oh my god, look how much damage I just took. Dude, that is so cheap. Last line. So much for being a mercenary. Oh. Yeah, I can't do that solo. That's too hard solo. I'll have to come back later. I know the system is functioning properly. Take a moment to catch your breath and then try again. Yeah, when I come back with a party later, I'll do it. Because definitely, that's something you gotta do with a party. I look forward to receiving all of your future... What are Chadley's missions? I still have... Use unique abilities on staggered enemies and charge the ATV game to gauge ten times. Defeat Shiva. Defeat monsters of three unique varieties. Okay, there's nothing much I can do. Those are just natural things that are gonna happen, right? <clears throat> An anonymous dollar thirty tipper says the VR in this is better than real life VR. Pfft. Okay then. All right. Ocelot Chiri says you can also solo Shiva with fire. I managed okay. I'll, I'll, I'll come back to this later. Let's see what else is going on. Um, where's the map? Yeah, that's where we came from. So let's go this way. A material vendor, do they sell anything I don't have? I I've don't got know. the finest collection of material you'll find anywhere. Uh, a song, Costa del Sol, we'll buy that. Isn't that from later, though? That's from an area you go to later in the game. Oh, man. I don't think I have a poison. Oops. I'll buy a poison. Everything else I seem to have, yep. Only one I don't have is the poison. Alright. Come back anytime. Yeah, I know you can rematch them, guys. Some uh, Jim Bola just said you can rematch the summon anytime. Yeah, I'll try again later. Like I said, either with a party or I definitely need fire because nothing else is staggering. So without the stagger, how am I supposed to, you know, get any kind of significant damage? There's a dead end here. Okay. Is something wrong? You could say that. Sounds like someone spooked the kids. Yeah, two of them disappeared. They ran away after this creepy guy wearing black clothes showed up. A Turk? That's what hmm. I thought, but no. No. It's this guy who's always stumbling around town in a dirty robe full of holes. They say he's sick or something. Oh, and he had some kind of number tattooed on oh, his Oh, like the guy at the other I slums. I don't like the sound of this. I'm gonna check it out. I know someone who fits that description. I'll come with. Yep. Hey. He was the come guy on. next to you in the apartment building back in the earlier slums. Okay. So let's follow this kid. Come on. Boom, 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 boom. Come on, I know this place is off limits to grown-ups, but if we want to rescue them, well, we gotta break the rules. Oots! You're back! Eric's come to help. Yeah, leave it to us. We'll take care of it from here. But there are monsters out there! Don't worry. I've brought a super strong friend along with me. I used to be a soldier. So where's the guy? I don't know. He disappeared and we can't find him. 
right now, let's worry about the kids. Come on. Okay. Pretty flower, pretty blue flower. Won't you talk to me? Moog another Moogle medal. Kids talking to medals, oh boy. All right, excuse me. Kids talking to flowers, oh boy. They ran up this way. Be careful. It's all set up. They're trying to rob him. Where do you think they went? Who knows? They're kids. Yeah. Nothing to do but look all over. Undeveloped area. Okay. I just hope we find them in time. Whoa, got some monsters down there for sure. Kinda in a rush, so. <laughs> Ow, combo. Nice. See you around. The door here doesn't seem to open. Okay. People in the stream shot are going nuts asking me to play with air. Here, you ready? Don't you mean? Hold on, triangle to focus magical energies and release it to release a tempest, a powerful magical attack. The potency depends on how much magical energy you've stored up. You want to store small amounts of energy and release spells and low powered bursts. We've got this. <laughs> One more shot. Steady. Yeah. <laughs> That's that. That was Tempest, I guess. All right, that was amazing. Do you see why I don't play as her? Because Cloud just stands there like a fucking brick, doing nothing. The game is the game AI is so dumb that he just stands still. So I need to be controlling the guy who's the damage dealer so that my ma magician doesn't die. He just stood there like an idiot. <laughs> Mega potion. Ah, oh, there they are. And they're not alone. All right, danger in the hideout. I'll protect you. I'm pretty good at protecting myself, you know. It's over. Whoa! Dude, I hit punish the, the uh, you know, so punish bad. mode. He killed them all with like one swipe. I've got this. Don't you mean we've got this? Yeah, punisher mode is really good against these mobs. Damn! It's like one one. Them. Flurry of the of the Punisher mode combo kills the whole party of enemies. <clears throat> nice. This guy's not a real enemy. He's gonna come alive later. Watch. I'm calling it now. I'm calling it now. He comes alive later. Another wave. What the hell happened? See That's that. I have no idea. She's almost dead. We're both almost dead. I'm muted apparently. Sure. Thank <laughs> you. 
Two of these assholes. Any magic, but let's do a limit break. Oh, I killed them both. Gotta be careful. Now I'm standing in poison. <laughs> Alright, that was ridiculous. Basically, enemies spawn on top of you. You can't see what's going on. They're using all these weird abilities you didn't even know existed, right? I didn't know that those abilities exist. Oh, a group, a, a cloud of poison on the ground. A lightning attack that locks you down. That was pretty ridiculous. But well, we survived it. Stupid limit break. And every time I said self-destruct, I tried to like roll out of the way and he just stood there slowly and wouldn't move. Kick their ass. Probably gonna go all the way back. By the way, I'm taking a break in about another five minutes or so. Just so everyone knows, I know it's later than my usual break, but I started late today, so I'm trying to do this in hour increments. I told you you'd come alive. Poisoned. What are her abilities? Oh, what am I doing? Soul Drain. Conjure a ward. Attack spells cast from the ward automatically be cast twice. Try using it. Go on. There we go. How did you get to be so strong? Basically, using the ward was incredibly powerful. To be a soldier. Yeah. Was? Did you go fight in the war? I might have. Joyful Oblivion tip me ten dollars. Thank you very much, Joyful Oblivion, for a ten dollar tip. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Optional way we went already. I'm good okay. enough to be one, right? <laughs> Look at you, Mr. Popular. Uh, that was so cool, you guys. Especially that. Oh, yeah. yeah, it was really cool, and you went like, yeah, yeah. 
So. You've got it all wrong. Oh, I am Razor's trying to give me advice, basically saying against slow mechanical enemies, Aerith is better because they they tend to attack with AOE or charging attacks. <laughs> okay. Like that. Isn't that right, Cloud? Isn't that right, Cloud? All right. Isn't that right, Cloud? I don't know. Don't ask me. I'm the silent, brooding mercenary. Don't ask me for battle tips. <laughs> What's that? Oh, fl another flashback? You guys have one of those in a while. Tifa! Tifa? Tifa? What's wrong? Nothing. Is Tifa like your girlfriend? No. Hmm, but she's someone special. It's not like that. More like... I don't know how to explain. I see. Okay. I guess we're out of here. We're gonna finish this mission up. <laughs> Thank you. From now on, if you run into trouble, promise me you'll find an adult, okay? Okay, I will. And here, Handmade since you're so cool, <laughs> you guys are both grown-ups, but you're also one of us now. You can come and play here whenever you want. Okay. Mission complete. Yep. Next mission is on the... Whoa. Back at her house, I guess, right? The, uh, what do they call it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, before we continue, let's save up, because I've just played for two straight hours, didn't save a damn thing. I know the game auto-saves, but still, I'd like to have a manual save, and, uh, and then we'll continue on here. Good stuff.